Kusi silina mukwano, dala dala silina yomwe sigwa, abensi teba manye mikwano, yesu ya manye mikwano, kusi silina mukwano, dala dala silina yomwe sigwa. My name is Ambrose Divine, in my future I want to become a doctor. Nayasi ya chuka oruva nyuma Abalala ba ya gala kwe yamba Kulwa chingo ya gala yomwa noyu Obango ya gala kale yimba nange kunsi siri na moko My name is Arafat Mbedel Kuhu I am in primary three class In the future I want to be a pastor Kati kulwa china weyo Kwa ya gala nyomwe mikuwa Overcomers was started as a result of one person's passion for children with a disability, and that is uh, Mama Miriam. She resolved and started it in her own house with one child. The first child was Emma. The first class was in my sitting room. When one parent had Janet's parent, brought Janet, so Janet was my second child. And within that first term, I had five. Now we are 28 at the moment. Parents get to know about this place through friends. You bring maybe a parent brought here a child, and I've seen the child progress and recommends overcomers to a friend, another parent. Though some parents come and tell me they want to bring their children, I first tell them, will you be able to contribute at least something? because I don't want to take on children whom I'm not able to take care of. Today we are going to convert from Roman numerals to Middle Arabic. How did we write one in Roman numerals? The teachers, people who have not been trained to do this work, and yet they are doing it wonderfully. Tribute goes to them. I don't just go for people because of their qualification only. I go for those whom I feel they have the heart and are called for this group of children. Because remember, they are incontinent, they are not able to control their urine and their stool. So at times, depending on even their diet, what they have eaten in uh, the previous day, the stool may be just pouring. So the teacher has to clean that mess. Other people might not want to work here if it is not God's grace, because you will not be interested in washing poopo daily. And so we need a teacher who is trained to handle special needs, and they are quite expensive. The parents of these children, as you might have known, in many communities tend to think that these children are bad omen. When visitors come, they are not brought out for, for visitors to see. They think it's an embarrassment. Even those who know that the child has reached the, 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 the age to go to school, they feel like these children cannot understand, they will not achieve much even when they go to school. Some of them, that is their perception about these children. So until when I started off by faith with these children, and then the parents started to come to school and see that the children actually are performing better than the other siblings at home. This letter is P. Can you say P? P. Give me the sound of P, Jackson. All of you. This sound is O. The letter is O. This one. O. This I one. have this group of children, especially of hydrocephalus. They are slow learners. They are not as smart as those ones of spina bifida, but they have their skills. They have their talents. These children have a lot of potential, which we as parents and we as community may never know. If we can just help them and tap what is in them, then we will see a lot out of this. I have children, they, they are really gifted in singing. They can sing and you see the presence of God when they start worshiping. Once I get someone who can train them to, to, to play the keyboard, to play the guitar, if they can join, the, 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 they can compose their songs and sing, what we are after is for them to be able to sustain themselves in the future. So I, I'm just saying, you know, I don't have the funds to get this music teacher. But if someone has a talent like that and comes and helps these children, I'm sure God will bless such a person.
none of my children came here when he's able to, those with spina bifida, is able to catheterize themselves or do bowel management by themselves. As soon as they come, the first thing I do at school is to teach them to remove urine and be able to, to empty their bowels. BMT, we warm water for them and then we pour it in the jerry can. Uh, different ages have different measures. Then we hang it up in the toilet and then they have to insert it in their anus and then it has to be in the stomach and they have to keep, they have to hold it there for some five minutes and then after five minutes they remove that, that cone which takes the water through their anus and then they have to sit on the toilet for 45 to, five to one hour. If it has been successful and the child has done it very well, the following day, the child will be dry. You will not have the dropping of his tool as it's moving. There are those children that are brought for me. They are not able to be in the class because they are, their hands are stiff. They are not able to write, but they can listen and they can talk. So we take them to class to listen, but they cannot handle, they cannot write, they cannot shed. The exercises we do are really painful. When you hear we have cries here in the morning, it may look like a punishment, but the children have to go through that because the parents were not do that, so they come with their limbs really stiff. But with the time, the more we do it every day, the pains go. They bring your child in that bad state, using your daily commitment, the time you put in. And then the child progresses. When holiday comes, the child has to go back home. Then when they go back home, the parent sits back and does, they don't do the physio. When the term opens, they bring for you a child in a worse state than the child went. We have a physiotherapist who comes here at least twice or thrice a week. He comes and shows us what to do with each child. Each child is assessed by him and they set up a plan, a recovery plan for the child. So it is that plan we follow with his assessment and directions. He shows us what to do and we continue doing it daily. This is called a standing frame. We are trying to exercise his muscles because they are weak. So we put him here daily for about 10-15 minutes. When you see a child who was brought not walking, able to walk. See a child who was brought not sitting, able to sit. You see a child who was do, not able to do certain tasks for themselves, at least progressing. It's our joy. Like Anita was brought crawling, could not walk, could not stand. But Anita cannot, can now even stand without crutches, and I'm happy of that. We have Tusasire and Kakuru. They came when they wouldn't sit, but now they are able to sit. But if the, man was there. the cost of providing this education is so high. Now the need comes through facilities. The need comes through technical people. The need comes through financial uh, support. We need a good facility for physiotherapy because that is one of the core activities done here. There are some friends of mine from US who had what I was doing. They came at school, visited me, and so they were able to help me put this up. And so I have at least room for now for over 60 children. They are able to be accommodated here. But how would the feeding be? How would the, 
the payments for my helpers be. So I still have that as a challenge. I would love to maintain this place beautiful as it is, and I would love to take care of more children, as many as I can, if I get support, especially from our government, because these are our children. Government has a policy related to inclusive education. I have not read anywhere in the documentation of, those, of, the, of that policy that takes care of this uh, impairment. I want to pay tribute to this lady called Miriam because she chose to abandon her job just to go and care for these children.